AEP Ohio is blaming vegetation for causing hundreds of thousands of people to go without power for three days back in June. AEP's regulatory agency, PJM, confirmed that finding today. They are calling it rare and saying it's something they've never seen before. NBC4's Anna Hoffman joins us now live to explain this long-awaited answer. Anna? Jared, every single person I spoke to today said that the blackouts were an awful experience. And then to learn that the cause is vegetation, they say they're still confused. It couldn't have been any hotter those days. It's been six months since widespread power outages disrupted the lives of central Ohioans. And people we spoke with say it wasn't a fond memory. We ended up going to a hotel for three days. We had like all of the food in a cooler and the kids, we were like putting them in an ice bath and, um, you know, trying to trying to stay cool. The official cause of those blackouts, vegetation brought on by severe weather on June 13th. AEP Ohio's regulatory agency PJM confirmed that Thursday, saying AEP, based on its review, has concluded that the causation was lines contacting vegetation growing post a ratio storm, causing lines to trip below their normal rate. I never would have thought it was that, that I'm surprised to hear that. These findings are all based on AEP's reports. PJM presenters admitted in Thursday's hearing to never setting eyes on the lines themselves. PJM presenters also say this is the first time they've experienced something like this, where they've had overlapping overloads. They also presented three takeaways or things to improve on for the future, which all involve more training for dispatchers. We reached out to AEP Ohio to answer more questions about the vegetation. They say since June, they've enhanced their vegetation management. They also sent us a statement which says in part, we are working closely with the community leaders to develop better communication and support plans when unforeseen events disrupt service in the future. We understand the significant impact of power outages and are committed to doing a better job preparing and responding. However, Columbus residents say they still have questions. If there was a blip or it was a few hours, I feel like that's forgivable, but if it's multiple days in some of the hottest times of the summer, that's a hard time for people. Some of the enhancements made to AEP's vegetation inspections are expanding light detections and expanding visual inspections as well. And those people that I spoke to today say they still fear that this could happen again. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.